Hello, my name is Bart Rickard, Manager of Customer Enablement with Golf Genius Software. In this video, we're going to go over the key concepts and terminology of our software. It is important to go over the key concepts and terminology of this software to better understand the product as a whole. Let's first go over the relationship between events, rounds, and tournaments. An event or a league can have one or more rounds in it. As you'll see here, this event has three rounds. Within each round, there can be one tournament, multiple tournaments, or a tournament over multiple rounds, as we call a multi-round tournament. Let's look at the example of this member guest event. Within this member guest event, there are three rounds. Within each round, there's two single round tournaments in round one, and there's also a multi-round, round robin match play tournament played over three rounds. Now let's talk about divisions and flights, which are used in our software. Divisions are used to separate groups for scoring. You can create one or more divisions for every event. An important distinction between divisions and flights is a player can be in one or more divisions. As we'll talk about flights below, players can only be in one flight. Now flights are used to create scoring groups within a division. A player can be within only one flight unlike divisions. So in summary, an event or league can have one or more divisions, and in each division, there may be a group of flights, which are also used for scoring. Here's an example. As you'll see, there are two divisions, a boys division and a girls division, separating the group of players in this parent-child championship event. Within each division, you'll see there are multiple flights. In the boys division, there are four flights. So the leaderboard will be separated by four different flights of scoring. And the girls have two flights. Now let's talk about the different kinds of player rosters. There's three different levels of player rosters. You have the master roster, which is the golden list of players in your account. For cl our club customers, this would be your membership roster. For golf associations and tours, this would be your membership of your golf association or tour. The event roster is a list of all players within in a specific event. Within that specific event, there may be one or more rounds. Within each round, there is a round roster. In a lot of cases, the event roster is the same as the round roster. If there's 40 players playing an event in a two-round event, it's likely that all 40 players are playing in both rounds. However, in the case of leagues, in a league roster, each week there may be different players in the league roster playing in each round each week. As you can see, there's a couple of different sources that your players can come from. You could have a spreadsheet of players, or you could go into our software and manually enter players one by one. You can use both of these methods to import your master roster. You can also import an event roster using a spreadsheet of players or manual entry. Or, as you'll see this arrow going from the master roster to the event roster, you can import players from the master roster to your event roster as well. So you'll see looking at this diagram, there's three different ways to enter players into your event roster. Spreadsheet, manual entry, and by importing from your master roster. Players entered into a master roster are not pushed back into the master roster. As you'll see, this arrow only goes left to right. It does not go from event roster to master roster. And the reason for that is we do not want to muddle up your master roster with players from many different events, specifically events that don't hold your members, maybe guests coming from your club. You obviously don't want these guests in your master roster. And now you have your round rosters, which you may have one or more round in your event and each round roster can hold players. And like I said in the previous slide, in many cases, the round roster is the same as the event roster. There may be 40 players in the event roster, and there may be 40 players playing in every round. And if this was a league roster playing weekly league games, you may have a subset of players in that league roster playing one week, and another subset of players playing in the round roster another week. Thank you for watching our video presentation. As always, if you need assistance with our software, feel free to utilize our knowledge base.